Hey everybody, my name is Alex with Hake Hardware, and in this video, I am going to go over how to deploy a Portainer server on Docker Desktop in Windows 11. So as a prerequisite, you should have Docker Desktop installed. There is a guide here if you need to get it installed. And then I'm going to jump over to Windows. And we can see I have Docker Desktop already installed. I'm going to minimize that though because we're actually going to be using the terminal. So if you right click on the Windows icon here, click Terminal. The first step we're going to want to do is to grab the Docker volume create. Now you can copy and paste it. The wiki is linked in the description of this video. I'm just going to top, type it out because it's pretty quick. Uh, Docker volume create. So we're going to create a new volume called Portainer Data. And this is where all the data for Portainer is going to be stored when we deploy our Docker container, which is the next step. Now I am going to copy and paste this command, but it's pretty straightforward. We're doing Docker run, and then uh, there's some ports here, but the main port that we need to be concerned about is 9443. So after we deploy our container, we're going to be able to go to it on our local host on port 9443. The name of this Docker container is Portainer. Restart is always, so like if we were to reboot this computer, the Docker container for Portainer would start automatically. And then there's just some additional volumes that need to be attached. And then here we're actually attaching our Portainer data volume that we just created. And then we're going to be launching uh, Portainer and then the Portainer Community Edition. And I'm actually going to change this to point 0.4. That's the latest version. I do recommend going to uh, your browser and just typing in Portainer install. And then, not that one. Uh, port, install Portainer CE. And you can do with Linux, doesn't really matter. But what you want to do is find out what the latest version is here. So it's 2.21.4. So if I close out of this, you can see 2.21.4. And then you just hit enter. And it's probably going to say unable to find the image, and it's going to need to download that image. And then just click allow if that pops up. And we can close out of our terminal here. And if I bring up Docker Desktop, we can see that Portainer is now running. And if we want to actually go to Portainer, we can open up our browser and we'll do https colon slash slash localhost 9443. And we're going to get this. Your connection isn't private. Depending on whether you're using Chrome or Firefox, it might look a little bit different. But you're just going to click Advanced and continue to localhost. And why this pops up is because it's over HTTPS, but it's a self-signed certificate. That's fine. You're running, you're hosting this on your own, so you don't have to worry about it. If you were like on the regular internet and you saw this, you probably wouldn't want to proceed. So we're just going to continue. And the first step here is we need to create our admin password. And then I'm just going to uncheck allow anonymous statistics and then create user. And that's it. We have Portainer running and we can manage all of our Docker containers. We can create stack files, which are basically like Docker Compose. It makes it really easy to manage everything with this graphical user interface. So to get started, you can just click the get started button. Localhost is going to be the current computer, but what's cool about Portainer is you can actually add additional environments. So if you have another computer that you want to add, you can click Add Environment, click Standalone, Start Wizard, and you'll just run the Docker agent on any other computer you want to connect to this Portainer host. So you're actually running like a Portainer server here, and other hosts can connect to it. And you can manage all of your Docker containers on all of your hosts from a single graphical user interface. Another cool thing, let's just jump back to home. If you click into an environment, this is where you can create stack files. So if you're familiar with Docker, that's basically like Docker compose files. You can click add stack and then you can type in your stack file here, which is pretty cool. Let's see what else we can view all of our containers. So we're in Portainer web front end and we can actually see Portainer. If I were to, you can't stop this because then Portainer wouldn't work anymore. We can see all the images that we have downloaded. So we have Portainer here. We can see all of our networks. 
we can see our volumes. So here's that portainer data volume that we created earlier. And that's really it. Um, I sometimes like to rename local. Sometimes it's fine to leave it just because it, then you always know it's your local environment. But I'll go into envir environments and if you click local, I just like to rename it as my host name. And then now when I'm at the home, I can see that it's labeled Bob. All right, that's it. Hopefully it was helpful. If it was, feel free to leave a like and I'll see you in the next one.